Hello again, I am Blunty here at the Queen Elizabeth Centre here to learn about a whole bunch of stuff about World of Tanks, basically, or wargaming in general, actually. Uh, we're going to sit down in a dark room with a bunch of slides and speeches and stuff, and I'm going to learn all about all the new stuff they're doing, all the stuff they're excited about, and of course, celebrating the 100 years of tanks. So, I'm not going to make you sit through the whole thing, I'm going to break it down to the stuff I found interesting. Let's hit it. Ah, well, to be honest with you guys, in the end, it was a super boring presentation. Lots and lots of waffling on, lots of awkward attempts at jokes, and endless friggin' PowerPoint slides, occasionally interspersed with trailers about various World of Tanks game modes and updates, none of which I'm going to dig into here, because frankly, if you're into World of Tanks, this is already old news to you, I'm sure. You would have learned all about it in, you know, blog posts and stuff with shorter turnaround production times than YouTube videos. But, in short, there was PC game stuff, console game stuff, mobile game stuff, a bit of talk about VR and AR, and also some World of Warships stuff. Some of the World of Tanks stuff was featuring an imaginary version of the Mark I tank that started all this tank stuff 100 years ago, and the entire point of this trip to celebrate, except the quote-unquote Mark I in the game was much faster than the real thing, which only moved at 3 miles an hour. Oh, and it had a flamethrower on the front now, because I guess being historically accurate would have been boring or something. But there was something that caught my eye that I wanted to share with you guys because it just may be worth taking in a whack at. A non-World of Tanks related game called Hybrid Wars coming out of WG Labs. It's a faux futuristic top-down shooter with mechs and helicopters and bright flashy colours and all that kind of classic arcadey stuff. And it's slated for release on Steam in about a week from when this video goes up. So keep an eye out for it. It looks like it could be quite some Fun! So there you go, that's what Wargaming is up to, basically. I also did sit down with an interview with uh, one of the Wargaming guys, which I'll get to next, which is kind of interesting. We talk about VR and AR and all that kind of exciting stuff. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and we'll catch you next time.